Codename Olympus, the rumored LLM, set to be one of the largest foundational models ever, an alleged 2 trillion parameters, double that of the closest competitor, OpenAI's state-of-the-art GPT model, which apparently has 1 trillion parameters. Google Bard apparently has 137 billion parameters in their current model. And just for a price point, OpenAI's model apparently took about $100 million uh, to train. So this is uh, a significant investment that Amazon is making, one that uh, they see as crucial for their business, and one that they expect to have a huge financial outcome for their business. Amazon CEO Andy Jassy projecting that generative AI specifically will drive tens of billions in revenue. Obviously, Amazon does not want to miss out on that. This week, I put out this little video, OpenAI kills everything and you should just give up. Quite a response to that video if you're interested in that idea. Check it out and let me know what you think. The reason I'm bringing this up is because there's a thread between the video that I'm creating today, which is about Amazon's uh, Olympus large language model that they're working on and that video from earlier this week, which was basically OpenAI has won this battle. They've accomplished everything. Everyone else should just go home. A couple of things that are a little interesting here. Amazon already has a significant stake in the company Anthropic, investing up to $4 billion. Apparently there's some conditions on that investment and is mounting them on the infrastructure Anthropic, talking about multi-infrastructure deployment of their technology, but Amazon at least playing a part of it. And so there's this questioning happening around this. OpenAI and Microsoft having a similar sort of relationship some uhness on stage between Satya and Sam, at least from my felt. Maybe not tenseness, but at least some awkwardness. And Google also investing in Anthropic while building their own models here with Barb, Amazon investing in Anthropic, and of course now moving forward with their large language model code name Olympus. This was leaked on a report on Tuesday, November 7th. And why? Makes sense. They're trying to control their own destiny. They have the technical talent, they have the technical infrastructure, and they have the capital to do this, as well as some proprietary data in use cases where this can be valuable. We're seeing companies, I think, if falling behind, maybe leveraging systems that they have. One of the examples is a parent LLM interaction layer through YouTube, obviously one of Google's most valuable vessels. That's something that uh, a company like OpenAI can't have. Amazon may be the same thing with the actual Amazon store, with Audible. Additionally, I think one of the layers here is this idea of security, one of the bigger risks in AI and on the top of mind for both I think, ethicists, but also companies looking to deploy this technology. So a lot of people are maybe already currently using the AWS infrastructure, maybe have some trust in it. And Amazon obviously has the capabilities to validate that trust, do the audits and make sure those things are state of art, which has been uh, a mission for them for you know many years with this AWS infrastructure. So the idea being that with that trust, they can deploy these models and companies can use these models knowing that it has the security functions within Amazon. This will obviously be uh, embedded within AWS architectures where we can access it through environments that developers are very used to. And in the end, I'm sure we'll see some sort of consumer interaction with these large language models. Uh, this is the guy taking this on. Prasad looks very nice, looks very smart. So good luck to you, sir. That is a big task and a lot of responsibility on you. He's been at Amazon for over 10 years. And talking about here in this article, I used to ramp up Alexa's voice AI capabilities across the company's connected device suite. Alexa in a little bit of a mm, gray area here right now. Maybe his talent was preferred in other areas. And this one was a pretty essential for Amazon as a business. We had previously seen Amazon's foray into this in some ways through Amazon Bedrock, which is the easiest way to build and scale generative AI applications with foundational models. I believe Anthropic here, Llama, Stable Diffusion. Amazon has trained smaller models such as Titan. There are relatively minimal details on this, so I think we're only seeing the initial rumors of this development and uh, whether Amazon likes it or not, uh, there is now an interest and focus on this. And so I'm sure more details will actually uh, emerge. And one of the interesting discussions is around Amazon's two trillion parameter uh, large language model with the question being, is this the best thing for Amazon? Is this the best thing for performance? Is this the best thing uh, for quality? And there are some uh, recent evidence that these systems, these models can't generalize 
tasks beyond what they had been trained to do. Whereas previously there had been other thoughts that basically the larger model, the more parameters, these emergent capabilities and functionalities happen. And so there's a little bit of a conflict in there with the idea of you don't need to build these massive parameter models. However, I think Amazon has the ability to do this. And so why not? What emergent things could come out of this that may create an innovation that uh, is an entirely new value creation that differentiates them from any of the previous large language models that had been generated. So that's at least worth maybe the risk or the time or the effort. But then there are also pieces here about even GPT, OpenAI's model, not just being one super huge LLM, but a mixture of experts of several smaller models that are engaged for specific activities to provide efficient, high quality outcomes as required. Amazon reInvent coming up in November. And so maybe this will be a place where they can share more details on Olympus. What do you think of the name, by the way? I'm gonna give Bindu a follow there. I love the response and a little bit of back and forth debate on can we expect greatness from Amazon or are they not going to be able to deliver the value? That remains to be seen, but I do believe Amazon has incredible capacity and feels the urgency of working on this project right now. I thought this was an interesting story to cover. That's why I'm doing it. And again, I expect more details to come out and we'll be covering those if those details are worthwhile and I'll do any tests if they actually somehow have a, an interaction layer. I think generally, until you can put it into the hands of a wider population, whether that's through APIs in Amazon or ideally more of a chat interface like Claude, like ChatGPT, like Bard, there will be obvious questions about the performance and the viability of this model. And then interestingly, I think there's this extra layer of where does this get embedded or where do we have this interaction? Is it truly going to be API first and for enterprises trying to integrate this technology or will there be some other versions of Amazon products, I'm guessing a mixture of both, where you can have these interactions is as simple as uh, chatting with the Amazon store, chatting on Audible, on Prime Video. I don't exactly know. And I think we all default to this chat state, but there are so many other potential interaction types and value adds through these large language models that are compelling and maybe not even fully discovered yet. And to summarize what I'm saying or my argument that I started earlier this week, I don't think this is cut and dry. I don't think this is done and over. I think this is too important of a space for these big incumbents. I think there's too much potential value creation for these companies for them to just accept OpenAI as the, the one winner that takes all. And of course, they're moving at rapid speed with incredible talent, a lot of money. But there's these other players in here who have the same and are maybe even more established and maybe even have other regulatory capture or other types of capture that they can do to make it more and more difficult for a company like OpenAI to be the one winner of this entire market. If you're following the story or you're interested, we'd love to hear what you think. Uh, check out that other video. I'll drop it in the link uh, below. Uh, OpenAI kills everything and you should just give up, which was satire, which not everyone fully understood. And I appreciate you checking out this video too. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye-bye.